Yeah, karibu tena hapa Flood of Fox na before sijaendelea I think kuna kitu ambacho ni cha msingi sana ukikisoma hapo kwenye screen ili uweze kujumuika na mimi katika video hii. Na tunashauriwa forex traders wengi ambao tunatoa mafunzo kupitia YouTube basi kila video inavyoanza uh, tunaanza na hiki kitu na leo nimeona ni vizuri zaidi uh, ukisoma hapo kabla tujaendelea lakini before pia uje subscribe uje like uje comment uh, na kukumbusha kupita katika Instagram andika black forex underscore tz na utakuwa pamoja na mimi and this is a new page uh, ile page ya flood fx kuna watu waliingilia so we have another new 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 uh, of Instagram page. Na leo tutaenda kuangalia swala zima la divergence strategy, forex divergence trading strategy. Uh, moja ya strategy ambayo una uwezo ukaicombine na a lot a lot of strategies na ikakuletea matunda mazuri kabisa. Na ni moja ya strategy ambayo uh, ina very very high reward compared to the risk uh, to the risk. So leo tutaenda kuangalia divergence strategy. Cha kwanza kabisa ambacho natakuwa kujua ni maana ya neno divergence. Sili ni neno la Kiingereza ambalo linamaanisha moving apart. Moving apart tukiwa na maana ya kwamba um, kama vitu vipo kwenye point moja, magari yapo kwenye sehemu moja, uh, then tukasema yanafanya divergence ni kwamba yakiwa yanaondoka basi moja litaenda same hii direction tofauti na jingine litaenda direction tofauti as long as yatakuwa yana move yatakuwa yanazidi kuwa mbali zaidi so ni ku uh, tunasema it is moving apart na hapa tutakuwa tunalinganisha vitu viwili uh, ambavyo vitakuwa vinafanya divergence yani vinaenda uh, vinakimbiana yani kwamba moja anaenda direction hii tofauti na direction ya mwingine hivyo uh, vitu vitakuwa ni price pamoja na oscillator tutaenda kuviona mbele so this is the opposite of convergence I, divergence ikiwa ni nyum, kinyume cha convergence na wakumbusha uh, tuna divergence tuna convergence katika forex so this is divergence kwa hiyo divergence ni kinyume cha convergence na leo nitaenda kuongelea only convergence uh, strategy ambayo ni moja ya strategy ambayo uh, inakuwa na risk ndogo ukilinganisha na reward yani faida ambayo unaweka take profit always inakuwa na pips nyingi 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 compared to the stop loss na hii utaenda kuiona mwenyewe na hii ni sehemu ya kwanza ya divergence strategy so uh, divergence inatokea pale ambapo uh, price ya ile current pair uh, na na indicator ambayo itakuwa ni oscillator zinavyokuwa zina move away yani zinakuwa zinaenda uh, tofauti kama wewe anashuka mwingine anapanda na hiyo ndo tunaita divergence strategy so tutaenda kwa tunalinganisha price pamoja na oscillator na how do we trade them nitaenda kukuelekeza so divergence ukirudi katika forex sasa uh, ni hii hapa so tuna price tuna indicator hapa chini ambayo indicator lazima iwe oscillator uh, oscillator ni nini tutaangalia so price ya kwanza hapo katika price bila shaka unaona uh, kuna 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 movement ambayo ni downward na ukija kwenye indicator unaona ni upward tutaenda kuangalia what is that lakini before hapo ili kuweza kuzifahamu hizi uh, zinavyofanya kazi especially price na oscillator lazima turudi nyuma kidogo uangalie the basic uangalie candlestick tunavyo tunavyoongelea candlestick basics tunaongelea nini hii itakuwa ni faida kwa beginners Aa, na kama wewe tayari ni mzoefu i think unaweza uka jump mbele ya video hii so uh, we have two candlesticks uh, ambapo kuna bearish lakini pia kuna bullish. So tunaanza na bullish ambayo ni ya kijani lakini bearish ni nyekundu. So kianza na kijani bila shaka unaweza ukaona ni bullish that means ina tabia ya kwenda juu. So inafungukia chini na inafungia juu. That's why una open ambayo inamaanisha kufunguka chini then una close ambayo inaonekana hapo juu. So that is the first part of the candlestick naongelea hiyo ya kijani ambayo ni bullish lakini ukiangalia vizuri hizi bullish is candlestick zote zina high and low high and low zipo kwenye the same position kwenye bullish pamoja na bearish so high ni sehemu ya juu kabisa ya candlestick na low ni sehemu ya chini kabisa ya candlestick so low iko chini na high iko juu ukiachana na hicho tuna kitu tunaita lily body 
ambayo ni rangi nyekundu hapo au hiyo kijani. So huo mwili ndio tunaita lili body. Lakini pia bila shaka unaona kama kuna mizizi inachungulia huko kwa juu na chini. Hizo tunaita shadow. So kwenye green ambayo ni bullish candle tuna upper shadow ambayo iko juu. Lakini pia tuna roa shadow. Na ukija kwenye bearish pia tuna uh, tuna tuna roa shadow na tuna upper shadow ambayo iko juu. Kwa hiyo kwa maana hiyo body and shadows zinakuwa the same lakini pia high and lows zinakuwa the same. Tofauti na kuja kwenye opening price na closing price. Ukiangalia kwenye bullish open iko chini kwa maana ya kwamba inafungulia chini na inafungia juu. Na ukija katika bearish candlestick bila shaka una uwezo kuona hapo ina open juu na inafungia chini. That means bearish candle ambayo ni nyekundu always ina move kuanzia juu paka chini. Don't think more about langi, langi ni yoyote unaweza kuchagua. So hiyo ilikuwa ni basic kwanza ambayo unatakuwa ijue. Kwa maana hiyo tutakapokuwa tunaangalia utakuwa unacheza na vitu vinaitwa high lows, uh, utakuwa unacheza na lower highs, unakutana na lower highs, uh, lower lows, utakutana na higher highs, higher lows, ndio vitu ambavyo utakuwa unacheza navyo. Kwa maana hiyo ukiona high inamaanisha ni the upest point ya candlestick kwa hiyo always iko juu na kama ni raw always it is down kwa hiyo utakuwa unaangalia hivyo vitu so twende direct katika divergence strategy uh, faida yake ni nini kama ambavyo nimesema ina higher reward compared to the risk kwa hiyo unakuwa umeweka faida kubwa reani kuliko hasara yeah. always take profit na kuwa kubwa kuliko stop Ross. So nimeongelea vitu viwili kwamba divergence uh, au moving apart inakuwa always kati ya vitu viwili ambavyo ni price. Price unaifahamu ni thamani ni zile candlestick zinavyo move juu na chini. Hapo ndipo naongelea price. Lakini oscillators ni nini? Oscillators ni indicator ambazo ni leading indicators. Leading indicators kwa maana ya kwamba katika indicators tunaongelea vitu viwili tuna lagging indicators tuna leading indicators lagging indicators ni kama moving average na leading indicator uh, ni oscillators na zenyewe leading indicators na tabia ya ku move uh, uh, beyond ile price kwa zinatangulia lakini lagging zinachelewa so ni indicators gani ambazo zina wahi ambazo ni leading ambazo ni oscillators hizi uh, tunaita kuna relative strength index kuna stochastic kuna CCI, kuna OA uh, na, na zingine nyingi kama MSD ambayo ni moving average, convergence, divergence. So hizo ni oscillators ambazo pia tutaenda kuzitumia and tutazitumia katika uh, trading yetu. Lakini ukiachana na hiyo kuna kitu ambacho unatakuwa kijue what is divergence. Tunasema if price makes higher highs uh, Uh, ikitokea sasa uh, divergence inatokea vipi hii ni condition for divergence kama hii condition haijawa haijawa uh, ai, 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 uh, implemented kwenye uh, MT4 yako it means kuwa huwezi kutumia divergence strategy divergence strategy utaitumia tu kama sheria hii ambayo naenda kukuambia itafatwa wanasema kwamba uh, kama price ikitengeneza higher highs sawa alafu oscillator ikatengeneza lower lows au price katengeneza lower lows okay Aa, na oscillator ikatengeneza higher highs hapo tunasema kuna divergence so unavyosema higher highs what does it mean higher highs ukirudi huku nyuma um, bila shaka una uwezo wa kuangalia hiyo kwenye price unaona kuna mstari mwekundu lakini huo mstari mweusi ambao ni kama wave ndo unaonyesha price movement so utaona bila shaka hapo ni kwamba because hizi point ambazo zimeunganishwa kwa mstari mwekundu kwenye price ziko chini hizo ni rows okay sasa ukiangalia row ya kwanza ipo hapo kwenye bottom kwenye point ya kwanza afu kuna row nyingine inafuata sasa ukiangalia row ya kwanza na row ya pili Ro ya pili inazidi kuwa chini zaidi kwa maana hiyo inazidi kuwa ro kwa maana hiyo uh, hii tutaita ni ro ro kwa sababu ya ro inazidi kuwa yani ro inazidi kuwa chini ro inazidi kuwa ro kwa maana hiyo ni ro ro so ro is becoming ro and ro and ro that's why tunaita ro rows so ni l l lakini katika indicator hapo utapata kitu kinaitwa uh, high lows okay high lows kwa maana ipi kwamba uh, una low hapo hiyo uh, huo mstari mwekundu kwenye indicator pia unapita chini kwa hiyo kuna row ya kwanza kuna row ya pili ukiangalia row ya pili iko juu 
kwa maana hiyo rows zinazidi kuwa haya so kama ni hivyo utasema ni haya row haya row hl so that is how tunasoma hizi hai rows uh, na vitu kama hivyo so bila chako utakuwa umenielewa so tukirudi uh, to our point uh, baada ya kuwa nimemaliza condition uh, natakuwa kuzifahamu pia aina ya divergence na hizi ndo conditions kubwa ambazo tutakuwa kuzifuata ukiona uh, vitu kama hivi ambavyo nitaenda kukuelekeza basi utatakiwa ku apply divergence strategy so we have a regular divergence na tuna hidden divergence hizi ni aina mbili kubwa za divergence na tukianza na ya kwanza ambao ni legura bila shaka uh, utajifunza jinsi ambavyo yenyewe inafata uh, price movement na oscillators zinafanya kazi vipi lakini that is bm wala strategy my new upcoming strategy nadhani ni moja ya strategy ambayo itakuwa imetengenezwa na watanzania so uh, waiting for it soon it is coming so get ready Um, kwanza before sija kuelekeza regular divergence ni nini na hidden divergence ni nini unatakiwa kujua kitu kinaitwa trend eh? so trend ni kama ambavyo tunazisoma zile uh, higher highs so trend pia inaweza kasoma in terms of high and low ukiangalia p ni peak ukiangalia trough uh, that is bottom and t so ukiangalia upande wa downtrend ni kwamba uh, una peaks ambazo ni highs okay So highs ilikuwa zinazidi kuwa chini kwa maana hiyo tutasema kwamba hii tutasema roa highs. Hii inasomwa kama roa highs. Okay, ukija kwenye uptrend uh, kwenye mstari wa kijani tunaziona zile lows zinazidi kuwa up. Kwa hiyo hii hapa tutasema higher lows because T ya kwanza uh, iko chini, T ya pili iko juu na hiyo T ndo raw au truth. Okay. So that is our uh, downtrend tutasema Uh, lower highs and uptrend tutasema uh, that is that is higher rows lakini pia kwenye downtrend kama utacholea mstari chini ukiachana na juu kwenye tt huku chini utasema kwamba uh, utasema ni lower lows na kwenye uptrend ukichola mstari juu utasema ni higher highs bila shaka utakuwa umenielewa hizi concept na kuelekeza because mbeleni tunaenda kuziapply usinione na zirudia so that is the concept uh, na it is good ukini follow instagram our new page black forex tz so tunaendelea na aina ya kwanza bila shaka nilikwambia ni regular divergence what is regular divergence types of regular divergences uh, ya kwanza ni bullish regular divergence ya pili ni bearish regular divergence Naomba tuanze na bullish regular divergence. Uh, bila shaka nilikwambia kwenye divergence uh, moving apart strategy unaangalia price na oscillator. Sasa kwenye bullish regular divergence bullish meaning uh, moving up. So tutaenda kuangalia iki kitu. So price na oscillator ndio vitu ambavyo tutavi. Ikitokea sasa uh, on your meta trader for kwamba price ikatengeneza row rows kama ambavyo nimekuonyesha kule kwa mfano hapa kwenye picha unaona row inazidi kuwa row so ni row rows ll lakini ikatokea oscillator ambayo utaiweka pale let's take an example ukachukua um, ukachukua stochastic indicator au RSI ukaiweka chini hapa chini Uh, bila shaka kuweka indicator unajua utaenda kwenye meta trader of 4 utaenda kwenye function ambayo ni F then baada ya kuume click pale zitakuja indicator oscillators utazichagua so hapa tunatumia uh, tunatumia uh, this is stochastic so kama stochastic ambayo ni oscillator ikitengeneza high lows alafu price katengeneza lower rows that is bullish regular divergence and the direction of the price will be upward and therefore utabai okay Uh, na hii nitaenda kukuonyesha live katika part 2 the way ambavyo tuna trade lakini pia hapo natakuwa unisikilize ili uweze kufahamu where do we buy and where do we sell so ikitokea price katengeneza lower rows na oscillator katengeneza higher lows that is opportunity to buy na muonekano wake ni kama kwenye picha so tuna bearish regular divergence that is where price sasa juu kwenye MT4 inatengeneza higher highs lakini oscillator inatengeneza lower highs kama ambavyo unaona. So what is this? Hii inaonyesha kwamba because always oscillator it is a leading in a move 
uh, aba uh, ina move beyond inakuwa faster kwa maana hiyo price hapa itafosiwa kwenda chini and therefore uta sell it. that is bearish leg uh, divergence lakini kwenye um, uh, bearish uh, kwenye 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 hidden divergence uh, katika hidden divergence tuna aina mbili tuna bullish hidden divergence na bearish hidden divergence so naomba niende direct kwenye bullish hidden divergence hapo utalinganisha price pamoja na oscillator yetu ambao ni stochastic au RSI au uh, CSI o, OA so hapo utaangalia uh, the oscillator ambao ni leading indicator inakuonyesha wewe kwenda wapi because hii siku zote na wai itakuwa inakuonyesha direction of your trade tutaenda ku demonstrate kwa kutumia MT4 bila shaka utaona kabisa on the screen lakini sasa hivi we, we start with this uh, demonstration so ikitokea oscillator ikatengeneza lower uh, lows na uh, price kule zile candle six zikatengeneza higher low that means kwamba uh, you will have to buy the second direction itakuwa ni buy maana yake uh, prices taanza kwenda juu so you will have to buy that is bullish hidden divergence we call it bullish because uh, ina to direct sisi ku buy eh, tulisema buy is equal to bullish kutoka kwenye mnyama bull bila shaka unakumbuka mwanzoni kabisa tuliongelea but we have another type of hidden divergence and that is bearish hidden divergence na in bearish uh, hidden divergence tunalinganisha pia hizo hizo price na oscillator ambao ni uh, stochastic uh, price kama ukiangalia candlestick zako ukakuta zinatengeneza lower highs uh, lower highs uh, kwa mfano kwa upande huo lakini hiyo oscillator zikawa zinatengeneza high highs uh, therefore what you have to follow bila shaka unaweza kuona oscillator hapo ilikuja ikashuka it was going down and therefore you had to sell it that's why it is called bearish so raw high price oscillator ni higher highs uh, ukiachana na hivyo vitu na wakumbusha tu unapokuwa ziangalia hizi easy price na oscillator lazima make sure zinakuwa at the same uh, vertical position zinakuwa kwenye the same vertical position usichukue roa hai ukachola huko nyuma kabisa alafu kwenye oscillator yetu ukachukua mbele no lazima ziwe kwenye direction ile ile yani ukichola mstari ambao ni vertical basi uh, ile point ya kwanza kama ni 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 roa ni hai ya kwanza basi hai ya, ya ya kwenye price kutane na hai ya kwenye oscillator na kama ni uh, uh, um, haya ya kwenye price basi kutane na haya ya kwenye oscillator the same hata huku uh, kama ni uh, low ya kwenye price basi kutane na raw ya kwenye oscillator na kama ni low uh, ya upande wa pili ya price basi kutane na ya kwenye oscillator that is condition uh, number 2 ambayo pia unatakuwa kuijua uh, ukiachana na conditions ya lower highs na vitu kama hivyo especially trend lakini lazima nikukumbushe kwa kwamba always always regular regular uh, divergence uh, yenyewe inachotuonyesha tukirudi nyuma kabisa uh, kitu cha msingi sana ikiwa unatakuwa kukijua always uh, regular divergence huwa inatuonyesha uh, price reversal tukianza na bullish regular divergence bila shaka unaona it is a reversal Ha, it is a reversal ukiangalia it was zilikuwa zinaenda chini lakini ghafla zikaanza kwenda juu that was reversal ukiangalia price hapo kwenye lower lows uh, lakini pia bearish naweza tukasema ni reversal kwa sababu unaona it was going up ilikuwa ni uptrend na bearish leg inatuambia to sell kwa maana hiyo leg divergence inaonyesha reversal kwamba it was upward ina change na kuwa downward na kama ni chini basi ina, ina tukatabili naenda chini always tuna sell Uh, that is well 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 seen lakini pia ukija kwenye hidden divergence hii siku zote inaonyesha continuation of the trend continuation of the trend tukianza na the uh, ukianza na bullish hidden bila shaka unaona it was uh, going up higher row yani row ina, ilikuwa inazidi kuwa up and up and hapa tulibai tukiwa na maana tulitegemea itaenda up zaidi na hii ni continuation continuation ni mwendelezo if it was going upward therefore it will endelea upward unavoangalia kwamba inasababisha continuation of the trend unaangalia price sio kwenye oscillator okay tunaangalia tu sasa hivi because umesha determine kwamba you are going to buy lakini ukija kwenye bearish hidden pia it is the same continuation inaonyesha continuation kwa maana ipi ukiangalia uh, kwenye price hapa unaona kuna roa highs that means kwamba highs 
azikuwa zinazidi kushuka chini and that's why it will sell and that is called barely hidden divergence so this is one of the strategy ambao ni very useful bila shaka umeweza kuiona na it is one of the best best uh, best best strategy ambao tutaendelea nao kwenye sehemu ya pili lakini pia ijaisha so for now ni fate katika Instagram Black Forex lakini pia unaweza ka click link hapo tutakupeleka moja kwa moja kwenye hawa pe, uh, Instagram page it is a new Instagram page sasa ni nini ambacho tutaongelea sehemu ya pili sehemu ya pili tunaenda kuangalia jinsi ya kuzitumia is divergent strategy katika MetaTrader 4 utaenda kujifunza kupitia the practical kabisa hapa hapa kupitia hawa uh, hawa hawa YouTube channel. Na kukumbusha wewe ambaye bado je subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, bonyeza neno subscribe lenye wino mwekundu then baada ya hapo uh, unaweza uka click au uh, uka click kikengele ambacho kitakuja ukigusa hiyo kengele mara moja tu moja kwa moja uh, utakuwa pamoja na sisi na video zote zitaletwa katika PC yako au kompyuta yako na utaweza kuziangalia on time before watu wengi hawajaziangalia this was part one of divergence strategy one of the best the best kwa sababu utaenda kuangalia reality na majibu yake utaenda kuona kama inatudanganya itakwambia lakini pia jiandae na BMR strategy my own own strategy uh, my name is Flado FX Mr BMR this is my strategy BMR that's why pia it is good ukiniita Mr BMR that was Flado FX usisahau kupita uh, Black Forex TV Instagram to follow there lakini pia usisahau kupita forex255.com kwa machapisho mengi zaidi yanayohusiana na forex asante kwa kunisikiliza